Signal Messenger has become incredibly popular because of its focus on security. So in this video, I thought I'd take you through how you can set up the desktop version of Signal Messenger on your Chromebook. All we need to do is enable the Linux container on your Chromebook, which sounds complicated, but is actually in fact really straightforward. And then we just need to type in a few commands and we'll have Signal Desktop Messenger set up in no time at all. So let me share my screen with you and then we'll get started. So the first thing we need to do to install Signal onto our Chromebook is to go down to the bottom right and click on the time. And then if we go up to settings, which is this gear icon here and select that. And then over on the left hand side, we need to select Linux. And now let's go across to here and select turn on. Press next. Here we can select what we want our username to be and we can set our disk size. So you can either go over a recommended size of seven and a half gigabytes or you can make it a bit larger if you want to, if you're planning to install more Linux apps in the future. Let's make this one 20 gig. And now let's press install. Now this will just take a few minutes to download and install the Linux container on your Chromebook. Amazing, we now have Linux installed in our Chromebook. Next, we just need to type in a few commands to install Signal. Luckily for us, all the commands we need to type in are on Signal's website. So I've just gone to signal.org slash download. And if we select the option over here for download for Linux, and this will give us the commands we need to type in for our Linux install, which on Chrome OS is also based on Debian. So let's move this over to the right-hand side so we can see the commands and let's make this a bit bigger and move this to the left-hand side. So now all we need to do is literally copy and paste these commands uh, from this window and run these in our Linux terminal. So the first one here uh, simply installs the uh, software signing key. So let's run this. It only takes a second. And next we need to add a new software repository. So let's copy this, paste it over here and hit return. And then lastly, we just need to update our package database and then it will run the install for Signal. So let's hit enter. There we go, it's updating the packages available. It's now ready to install Signal. So let's press Y for yes, hit enter. Amazing, so it's installed Signal. So now let's open up our apps on our Chromebook and you'll notice you've got a new Linux apps folder and in here we have a new icon for Signal. So let's launch this and there we have it. We now have Signal's secure messaging client installed on our Chromebook. And then the last stage is just to simply scan the QR code from the Signal app on your phone to link the devices together. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found this short introduction to Linux and how to install Signal useful. Please do like my video and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.